Yo, what's going on, y'all? We are back with another video. So today, I was showing you guys my 6'8 point guard. Uh, I, this is the point guard that I've been wanting to show y'all. I didn't really have the time to, but today is the NBA opening night, so I was over there watching the games, realized I forgot to make a video. But um, we have, like, this build, to be honest, I really like this build. I like this build a lot. Um, I've been using it going absolutely crazy in my career only at 80 overall right now of course i play on hall of fame going absolutely bonkers with this build so let me get into the build so y'all can see this and yeah so it's 6'8 227 on the weight with a 6'10 wingspan so we have a 68 on the close shot that gets us the masher but the close shot is tied in with the mid range i mean with the uh layup so that's the reason why is where is that um so I do get the 88 layup. I kind of wish I'd have went with the 90 for the acrobat because I do I did start doing uh, reverse layups a lot. So acrobat Hall of Fame would have been nice to have, but it's not necessary. Um, I have a uh, slithery on silver. Everything is pretty decent here in terms of finishing. Um, you see, we get Pro Touch, we get Scooper, all that stuff. Hall of Fame spin, cycle, two step. Uh, float game you get everything hall of fame except bunny bunny is a uh, bunny is uh go but i got a 40 driving dunk and a 40 standing dunk so that's that's enough to get the cj mccullum dunk package as well as a few rim grazers and the 40 standing dunk gets you the under basket off two um so i i do like that one a lot there uh and I wanted to have a standard dunk package to make sure that I could get some standard dunks. Um, then, and then I still want to be able to dunk a little bit there. I got a 95 on the post control. So with the 95 post control, we do get the drop stepper hall of fame. That's the reason why I kind of went with the 95. I could have went with 92, but it wasn't giving me that much more, uh, stat points anywhere else. So I just went with the 95. Uh, also getting that post playmaker holly post fade phenom holly like you could do everything in a post at a hall of fame level besides post hooks so that's the only thing that's a little you know that's gonna be lower is the post hooks but honestly i don't do post hooks so it doesn't matter uh we get the 93 on the mid-range shot so with the 93 midi you're gonna get um the catch and shoot hall of fame and then you see we get Mini Magician uh, Hall of Fame with the 92. So pretty much we, we getting everything we need for real. You get Guard Up Hall of Fame. You get Open Looks Hall of Fame. So that's those are very important badges. We also, you know, getting that Post Fade Hall of Fame is also really nice to have. Um, then we got an 86-3. This 86-3, man, is really nice. Get you the Agent 3s on silver. You get the Limitless range on bronze so we we should be able to shoot some limitless shots as well as fade for threes with the silver uh agent three the silver agent three is definitely really nice to have there i got a 97 free throw just because i didn't know where else to put it plus i also wanted to have a high free throw i don't like missing any free throws i just i don't want to have to sit here and try hard on the free throw sometimes bro i just i just and plus there's really nothing else i could get even if i lower this like you can't really get much if i did like a 71 free throw for example two points on dunk two points on close shot you see what i'm saying you're not really getting much you could probably get one point here and get break starter but you're not getting that many rebounds so i mean like it's, it's a few things you can get but it's really pointless at the end of the day so i'm gonna just leave that where is it um so here I got the 85 ball handle with the 75 speed with ball. Uh, usually uh, my shorter point guards had this and having this on a taller build definitely feels a lot better than having it on a shorter player. Um, I do got the 61 interior cause I want to be able to at least stop some stuff in the paint. Uh, I know I'm not gonna be like an interior presence but I want to be able to stop some stuff in the paint. We get a 91 perimeter, which is giving us that pick dodger go. I do feel like I low key need that the clamps not so much i feel like clamps not as good as it used to be i'm not really a big fan of clamps on this one so yeah the clamps nah i'm cool on the clamps like 
I having Cle- I got clamps gold on my other build, and I feel it sometimes. But then I don't. Only badge I really like to have Hall of Fame is Challenger, um, but or have higher is Challenger, but it's really not worth it. Or you really don't have to. Plus, you see, I need a 92 perimeter for fast feet gold, but I also need a 77 Excel, which I can't get. So I'm cool with having fast feet on silver as well. Uh, we get we only get a 51 steel, so this one don't get no steel. I'm not gonna lie to you, I do feel like when you got a low steel and you still time it, you still get it. Like I still get passing lane steel sometimes. Sometimes if you go for it in the wrong time though, it'll really like mess you up. But once you get your steel higher than like minimum, it'll start giving you better anima- animations anyway. Um, we got the 46 uh, defense rebound, so I didn't really do, you know, I didn't touch that there. This is the only build I didn't touch rebound on. I noticed that I don't really grab any rebounds anyway. Um, and then the rebounds that I do get, like when we play it online, um, I don't necessarily need it. Uh, we do got the the speed is an 81, um, and the acceleration is a 73. So we getting all the silver dribbling badges here, all the silver playmaking badges. So we we should be, you know, we good there. The big key with this build to me is the strength. You see, the strength is a 96. Uh, I get Bulldozer Hall of Fame. I get um, Physical Handles Hall of Fame, but you only need like an 83. Yeah, um, a Move More Enforcer Hall of Fame. As well as back down Punisher Hall of Fame, you get brick wall on gold. But the reason why I like this build in specific, a move more enforcer really forces people to pick the ball up a lot. I feel like it's more valuable than clamps. So I did this to be able to guard the perimeter really good with this 90 something perimeter. So I feel like this would be a better defender than my one with the Challenger Hall of Fame just because. I could force dribble pick up more, um, especially with having that Hall of Fame. And then we only got a we got a low vertical because uh, we not dunking that much. We just going for the dunks that they give us when we do get one. And then um, we get 94 feet and workhorse on gold, as well as the handles for days on silver. So we we get this badge is I mean <laughs> this build is really good. I really like the badges on it. Um, but yeah, I, I, I was loving this build, man. Love this build. This build actually probably my favorite build in the game right now. Um, but yeah, you see, we got two-way diamond, three-level threat. You see the comparisons. We got Oscar Robinson, Tyrese Halliburton, and Spencer Dinwiddie. So that is the build there. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll have more videos and everything for y'all soon. And uh, I hope y'all having a good NBA day. And yeah, we'll be back soon, you guys. All right, peace. And as always, no, wait. (laughs) (laughs) He should have hit the like button.